Kurt with Winner's Performance, and today we're going to talk about shimming helical gears for your quick change rear end. So quick changes have a natural whine to them, and that whine comes from the sound of the spur gears turning in the rear as you go down the road. And straight cut gears whine more than helical cut gears. So while some of us like the sound of that straight cut whine when you're going down the road in a hot rod, if you want to quiet things down, helical gears are the way to go. Now, the difference between the two is in the way that the gears are cut. Straight cut gears, as the name would apply, are cut with straight teeth, whereas helical gears, the teeth are cut at an angle. While helical gears are cool to use on a street-driven hot rod, we don't recommend them for racing applications. And the reason is that the helical cut of the gears introduces rearward thrust. Basically, the gears are kind of pushing against each other. And that introduces stress against the gear cover that you don't want. To mitigate that stress against the gear cover, what you need to do is you need to shim the helical gears so that you're minimizing the amount of space between the gear and the gear cover. So that as you're stopping and starting, you don't have those gears constantly banging against the gear cover. And to do that, you're going to need one of our shim kits and either a caliper and a straight edge or a depth mic. So there's two ways to check the depth of the gear. Uh, if you've got a depth mic, what you do is you lay it across the face of the center section with your gasket in place. You dial it down to the inner lip, which is a raised lip of the gear itself. You want to be at 30 thousandths or less. We're at about 55, so we're going to need to add a shim. The other option, if you don't have a depth mic, which not everybody does, uh, is you take a set of calipers and a straight edge. The first thing you do is you gotta measure the depth of your straight edge, which in this case we've already measured is 42 thousandths. You open up your caliper, set your straight edge flat against the uh, back of the center section, again, with the gasket in place. And then you're gonna set the end of the calipers against the inner lip of the gear and you just back your caliper down until it meets your straight edge. Once you do that, you take a look at what your measurement is. You account for the depth of the straight edge, which when you do the math on this, it comes out to a little over 50 thousandths, which means that we're going to need to add a shim to that upper gear. Our shim kits come with 30 thousandths, 45 thousandths, and 60 thousandths shims. In this case, we are 50 thousandths out on that top gear, so we're going to choose a 45. It's just a matter of... Removing your gears, taking your shim, and sliding it over the shaft, and then you put your gear back in place. And once you've got it on, you can use either your caliper or your depth mic, and you're going to lay it back on there and check the depth. We are right about 10 thousandths, which is within that 30 thousandths limit, so you're good to go. Uh, at that point, it's just a matter of doing the same thing, checking your bottom gear, adding shims uh, where needed. Put the gear cover back on, fill it with oil, and you're down the road. 